in um, uh, Rishi. Much better than Rishi. Mm. As a styrofoam substitute. It was got a styrofoam fruiting body. Mm. So if you could get this cultured and growing in sawdust, you'd make basically a really nice styrofoam substitute. Yeah, that looks like yeah. sort of what you'd make a surfboard out of. Well, absolutely, yeah. Mm. If you, that is very styrofoam, isn't it? That's I mean, more styrofoam than anything I've ever seen. If you put fiberglass over that... Yeah. Um, okay. you're, you mean organic... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, Gelatin. I mean, help, hemp, um... Hemp, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> where. <laughs> You're cool, man. But yeah, I mean, wow. Well, let's, let's try and, do you reckon with the lighter, is this stuff flammable? Like, can you Yeah, just... but hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we set fire to the whole big thing, we need to have... Ah, look. Fuck. Now, look oh, at that. Oh, now you're starting to... I started Hang a fire. Now, that was a flick of the lighter. <laughs> okay, we're away. It's now 20 minutes to 11, and we've got the first little flicker of smoke there from the fungus. Let's see how long that will last. We need to uh, perhaps walk... Uh, many hours to the next campsite and rekindle the fire. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Don't blow. <laughs> Don't blow the... Uh, well, look at, uh, you know how the little red spots just go... Uh, it's just yeah, very low temperature combustion going on. If you blow it, it heats up. Otherwise, it just burns slowly. Amazing. Yeah, so if you want to buy some of this stuff. Very few materials will do that. <laughs> I, just, I can't think of anything that will do that. That's spectacular in terms of a material and 20 minutes and see what happens. Yep. Okay, so it's just gone about seven minutes past 11. And uh, now the whole surface of the fungus is on fire from the little... Uh, area in the middle to start with and if we blow it yeah you can see the whole thing lights up and it's probably consumed oh, a little bit uh, more than a third of the fungus at this stage after about like, half an hour or so so I can't see this lasting for several hours um, unless you did some sort of control as you were going along this is just, you know, uncontrolled mm. burning. But it, it is slowly consuming. Like, that's heated up there, nice hot mm. coal. Yeah. But it's just sitting there. Yeah. It's very slow. I mean, it, it, you know, very few things would continue to smoulder at that level. Um, but, yeah, let's uh, put it outside for a while and see how it goes in maybe another uh, 20 minutes. What do you think? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright. Done. If you guys want to Three. call this number now. Um. So it's about <laughs> quarter past 11, and I reckon this has consumed about two thirds of the fungus. It's still sort of, yeah, the whole surface of it is uh, completely consumed with fire. And, ooh, we blow it again and it burns. Whoops. Um, <laughs> There's not yeah. much left. No, uh, I won't be able to hold it uh, much longer. So yeah, quarter past 11, so what's that, about half an hour. So you certainly couldn't carry this a very long distance. Um, maybe like maybe just down to the a, corner shop or? If, well, if you, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know that they had corner shops in those days. I mean like the, but maybe you can the big G-bung tree or something. That's it. Maybe you can have a bag full of these, you know, like you could have half a dozen of them and you could sort of light one to the other, um, perhaps. 